Compare two quadratic functions. Describe two ways in which the functions y equals to 2x square minus 4x and gx equals to minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2 are alike and two ways in which they are different. So let's consider these two functions and find out their similarities and differences. So we are given y equals to, let me write that y as f of x equals to, that is y equals to 2x square minus 4x and we are given g of x equals to minus of x minus 1 whole square plus 2. Now this is a parabola with vertex at minus 1 and minus means it is opening downwards, right? So this, this parabola is opening downwards and we know the vertex here. But this parabola on the left side, on the other hand, is opening upwards since the coefficient is positive, right? So you can see these parabolas as such. Let's try to figure out the vertex of these parabolas, right? And then we'll write down similarities and differences between the two, right? As far as the vertex is concerned, to find vertex from here, what we can do is we can factor this. So I can write this as y equals to 2. I'll take 2x common. So when I take 2x common, I get x minus. When I factor out 2, I have to divide this by 2. So I get x minus 2, right? So I have x intercepts at 0 and at 2. So I have x intercepts at x equals to 0 and at 2. And therefore, my axis of symmetry will be midway between them. So we can say x equals to 0 plus 2 divided by 2, which is at x equals to 1, right? So that is the axis of symmetry for us. This point will be, when I plug in 1 here, I'll get the vertex, which will be y equals to 2 minus 4 which is minus 2. So the vertex here is 1 and minus 2. In this case the vertex is at 1 and plus 2. Do you see that? Now we got these parabolas and we have to write similarities and differences between the two. Now you can write so many similarities and differences. Now let's look into similarities first. I think two similarities which stand out are, one, between any two parabolas, we should always say domain is real numbers. So domain for both is, let me write down here, they are similar to both, so I'll write x belongs to real numbers, right? That is the first similarity. And the other two similarity which we see is x is of symmetry. In both the cases, we find that the x of symmetry is x equals to 1. So this line, which is x of symmetry, is same for both the parabolas, so which is x equals to 1. So these are two similarities. We can always say shape is a parabola, right? We can always add that to it. That means both are parabolas. When you sketch them, they look like a parabola. So that is also a similarity. Now as far as differences are concerned, we know it is opening, it opens downwards, right? That is because leading coefficient is negative and this graph opens upwards. So that is one difference. Second is their vertex points are different. Their one has a maximum, the other one has a minimum. So it has a maximum value of 2. And here we have a minimum value of minus 2. So that could be another difference. Then we can say range, right? So if we write range, then range is y belongs to real numbers so that y is greater than or equals to minus 2 for the first case. And in the second case, y belongs to real numbers so that y is less than or equals to plus 2. So that is the difference in between their range. Do you see that? So like this, we can give differences and similarities between the two graphs, right? Another difference is this graph is not vertically stretched as compared to the parent function, but this graph, the first one, is vertically stretched by a factor of 2. So, so though that way we can give list of similarities and differences. Well, we are supposed to give 2 
You can select the two you want and write your answer. But I think it is important to understand that we have to do some kind of calculation to get into two good points which we should provide as similarities and differences. Of course, we could have written two similarities as both have parabolas and both have domain belonging to real numbers, right? So these two similarities we could have given without doing any calculations. And as far as differences are concerned, we could have said one has a maximum point, the other one has a minimum. For one, the range is less than or equal to 2 and for the other we might have to do calculation but we say restriction is towards the minimum point here the restriction is towards maximum point well the other difference which we could have done without giving any calculation was a stretch factor so that is this graph is stretched with a factor of 2 as compared to the parent function y equals to x square so if you compare with y equals to x square this graph is stretched by a factor of 2, but this graph is reflected, not stretched. So those differences you could do without calculations, right? So it's all up to you how much details you want to get into. Thank you and all the best.